we're driving up to uh, Hutto, which is just north of Austin. Uh, my friend Mike said he saw a new ditch up here. We haven't skated it yet. Something new. We're gonna do some old stuff. It's, it's a new, new place. I've always been interested in drawing ever since I was a little kid, but when I was 12 I started skateboarding and that's when um, I saw stuff, graphics by BCJ and Pusshead and Jim Phillips and just all those dudes from the 80s that were making really awesome stuff. I started trying to mimic what those guys were doing and trying to draw sort of scarier imagery or daggers and skulls and monsters. And At some point I, I tried to merge what I'd been doing when I was a kid with what I was doing as a teenager and try to fuse sort of these uh, these themes together of children's book illustration and skateboard graphic design of the 80s. So trying to merge something that's sort of gross and crude with something that's also sort of simple or childish. Recently just take, taking a little break from painting. I'm just working on um, just tons of smaller drawings. Yeah, just working on things that are very immediate and stuff I can just carry around in my backpack very easily. So just tons of markers and pencils and pens and kind of getting back to where I started with uh, with drawing when I was younger. Hopefully people react to it on a couple different levels. You know, it's, uh, it's not so heady that they walk away from it not knowing what they're looking at. And hopefully they just find it engaging and they appreciate the, illust the illustrative work and it makes them laugh or think about things a little bit differently. After I graduated from the University of Texas, I had uh, intended to move to Los Angeles or San Francisco to try to become a part of the skateboard industry. But after living in Austin for a couple years, I just, I didn't want to move. I didn't want to leave here. And I thought it would be, it would feel more honest to me to try to stay here and do something in my community. So when I was in college and then shortly thereafter, I was just making tons of zines that uh, showcased my writing and illustrations. And that, those got in the hands of Michael Burnett, who's an editor at Thrasher, and he offered me a position, a staff position with the magazine in 2004. And then that, that same year, Volcom approached me to do a featured artist shirt, which that was the first, uh, that was really the first big company that I'd worked with. So again, my relationship with Volcom has just really helped in terms of getting my work seen by a, just a huge audience, people that I wouldn't uh, normally come in contact with it.